He's setting the tone. He's setting welcome back to my channel i just thought that i would pop in to give some context to this whole trip to this vlog i do pick up the camera and talk here and there but mainly i was just enjoying life and living in the moment so i didn't really talk to the camera too much i'm just going to give a little bit of context to certain clips and some stories to go along with that so yes you will see me throughout the vlog but yes hi welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel i usually talk about books but this vlog is a little bit different just because it's like a travel diary traveling is one of my favorite things so i'm so glad that i can bring you guys this vlog today so yeah as you have already seen in the vlog me and my best friend amy took a flight over to Berlin to meet up with my sister Emily who has been studying in Berlin and it was kind of the last week of her trip so I planned ages ago to go and meet her there then I invited my friend who also came along so yeah obviously what's been going on at the UK airports at the moment did worry us a little bit but I think time was on our side we were going the week after half term but we were a bit shocked when we walked into the airport because there was a massive line like I've never seen a line like that for security before that is the longest line I've seen at an airport it was kind of like queuing up for like a roller coaster you know like when it says at the top like 40 to 60 minutes like that's what we were assuming but once we had joined the line it actually ended up going super fast it was just a bit like scary at the beginning to see that many people and we were actually like mega early for our flight so it was absolutely fine so yeah when we touched down in Berlin we ended up going straight to our hotel and meeting Emily there and then we went out for Vietnamese food there's a lot of Vietnamese restaurants in Berlin and it was so nice they have so many vegan options the food in Berlin like that's one of like my favorite parts of going there so yeah then we spent that evening wandering around the city and it was just so nice we were just like walking around catching up with emily obviously i haven't seen her in like six weeks and yeah then the next clips are going to be from our book shopping i think we went to the biggest bookshop in berlin it definitely has like one of the biggest like english bookshops within that in europe so yeah i was definitely super excited to go there and it turns out that it closes at midnight which is just shocking like i've never heard of a store closing at midnight let alone a bookstore and i did end up picking up a few books and bringing them back with me i've actually filmed a pack with me video for my patreons and I'm going to include a little haul of like what I got while I was in Berlin. So if you're interested in like which books I got and also like further into the video, what vintage clothes I picked up and stuff like that, then definitely check out my Patreon. I always link it below. But yes, without further ado, enjoy the rest of the vlog. <laughs>
we're in Berlin. <laughs> we arrived yesterday. We had to get up at 4 a.m. actually, which wasn't nice. It was okay in the end. We thought it would go really wrong because there were loads of queues at the airport, but we ended up being nice and on time. And we met Emily at the hotel. She's been here for how long, Emily? Six weeks. Emily's been in Europe for like six weeks now. So we came to meet her at the end of her trip. And I've got my best friend with me. What you guys saw yesterday was just us exploring, not really the local area, but where we wanted to go. We just like wandered around. <laughs> and we don't actually have a plan for today, but we're just getting ready to go out for breakfast. I think we want to do more like touristy things and maybe visit somewhere that has some like historical significance, because obviously it's Berlin. And last time we were here, we did a lot of that and that was really good. So yes, I'm gonna get ready to go out now. And I guess I'll talk to you guys when we've got a plan. I just be wanted, embarrassing. I know, we did go shopping at a shop that you can probably go to in the UK <laughs> and spend a ton of money. And now we're gonna try and go more shopping and hopefully vintage shopping actually. Hello, it's me again. So what you just saw was our only full day in Berlin. Since we were only in Germany for three nights, uh, we had one of our full days in Hamburg, which you will be seeing very shortly. So we did some shopping in the morning. We went to weekday and we went to the big vintage shop in Berlin called Humana, I think it's called. I think there are loads in Europe, but it ended up being so good. And there was a section at the back that had just the best vintage clothes. Like they were so interesting. And I ended up buying a couple of things, which I then ended up wearing for the remainder of the trip because I love them so much. And then we just tried to do as many touristy things as possible. So we went to obviously the Brandenburg Gate and the Reichstag, the parliament building there, and I think a couple of other things, but we went to the park near the Brandenburg Gate. At this point, Emily had left us to go back to the hotel because she was like super tired, not really feeling very well. So me and Amy decided to chill out in the park and read. On our way to like this kind of grassy area, we went by this fountain and there was this really, really cute dog. So obviously when we went by, we were like, oh, hi, like, hello, cute dog. And I didn't even like see the owner or anything like I just saw the dog thought it was cute and then left and went to go and find a spot to read in and I'm not kidding we were literally sat down for like two minutes when I saw this dog and the owner like coming our way. So Amy was literally like oh my god he's gonna come and speak to us like he's gonna use this dog to speak to us and I was like oh no maybe not like I don't know maybe he's just like walking past but obviously she was right so he came up to us and like let us play with his dog which was really sweet but then he sat down. I just think that's so rude. Like we weren't really like inviting him to sit down. We weren't giving him any of the signals that we wanted to like have 
a longer conversation it was just like oh you've got a very cute dog what dog is it it was like in no way an invitation for him to sit down anyway he was incredibly weird and he just made us feel so uncomfortable and he was kind of like talking to me but his back was turned so it looked like he was kind of talking to himself and then i was just like wait he's like asking me questions it was just all very weird he said he'd gotten like really drunk the night before i feel like he still was drunk it was just so weird in my opinion, to sit down next to two young girls. So we ended up making an excuse to get away. I think Amy said like, oh, like, didn't your sister say that she was gonna be done about now? And I was just like, yeah, okay, like I, I should message her. And then I was like, yeah, like she's asking us to meet her for dinner. So then we were like, okay, bye, nice to meet you. And then we ended up walking around for about 40 minutes. If we'd just turned the opposite way, we would have been able to like go to like another field and sit down. We basically did a full circle. We went back to the Brandenburg gate and back into the park the exact same way. I was so tired, my feet hurt so much, but we finally found somewhere to sit down and read and I did really enjoy that. We were on edge the whole time that he would like see us and like know that we'd lied to him. But yeah, it was absolutely fine. We never saw him again. That gave me so much anxiety. I actually started Cersei in the park. I've actually damaged it now, unfortunately, like on our way home, it was in my bag and I don't know what happened. It's just cause like I had to squish everything in because of like everything I bought that trip. But yes, this is one of the books that I got if you're interested. I started that in the park and just like had the best time reading it just because I got into it like straight away. It was so nice. And I'm sharing all of my thoughts on it during a weekly reading vlog that will be coming to my channel probably a week from now. Also every single night, like one of the highlights of my trip was that we ended up going to the river and drinking like at a bar. There were so many riverside bars near Friedrichstrasse, like that is the place to go if you wanna like just chill next to the river. It's just such a good atmosphere. I think I got an Aperol Spritz every single night, like that's my summer drink of choice. But yeah, let's carry on with the vlog. So the next clips are from our day trip to Hamburg. We ended up getting a two hour train ride there and back. Emily, my sister, had booked a tattoo there months ago so we literally just went there for that but we thought that we would explore the city while emily was busy in pain <laughs> you'll see that we actually like started out in like kind of an ugly area which was a shame and it was also kind of rainy and cloudy we were like freaking out that we we're gonna have to like kill time in a city that we weren't like enjoying or liking very much but then we literally turned one corner on our way to the town hall and realized that we were just in the wrong part of the city and that Hamburg is incredibly beautiful. So I do recommend going to Hamburg if you have the time. But yeah, obviously you guys are going to see all of that right now. So we are in Hamburg now. We've come on a day trip because Emily's getting her tattoo here. So we took a two hour train ride this morning and we're really tired, but we went to a cafe first. So we could wake up a little bit. And now we're next to the town hall, which hopefully we can go in for free. But yeah, we don't know about Hamburg yet. Like we're kind of just sussing the vibe really. Minutes. We just walked around in the we left. We should do a paid tour because we'll take it's five minutes and then go to anthropology. Yeah, we're gonna go to anthropology now. But this is like so beautiful. Like we definitely misjudged it very early on. We were in the ugly side, I guess. Vibe really.
also Emily's tattoo was due to take around like five to six hours and we ended up getting there about half an hour late just because the train was delayed out of Berlin in the morning so I think her tattoo started late and the last train out of the city back to Berlin was 4.51 so we were like there's no way she's gonna get it she's gonna have to get like a coach like a three-hour coach back to Berlin and we're just gonna have to leave without her, which is a shame, but like me and Amy were not getting the coach. And Emily knew that that was the risk she was willing to take getting this tattoo. But fortunately, the tattoo artist did it like really quickly, even with breaks. And she ended up finishing the tattoo about quarter past four. She then had to like take photos with the tattoo studio. She had to fill out some forms, pay, and get a 15 minute Uber ride back to the train station in order to like catch the train on time. And it was literally like one minute until the train was there. And um, she still wasn't there and we were like, no, like we're literally gonna like be on the train and like see her through the window as we go past. But the train was delayed by like one or two minutes. So she ended up getting there with like a minute to spare. That was so stressful, but funny. But I didn't end up vlogging any of it because we were just so stressed. So we're about to get the train to the East Side Gallery because it's our last day and we want to see something interesting. I've already seen it last time we were here, but I want to see Amy's reaction to all the art. <coughs> So that is it for my Berlin diaries. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely now one of my favorites on my channel. It's gonna be so lovely to look back at these memories and share them with my sister and my best friend. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I do have extra Berlin content over on my Patreon. I posted pictures on the trip that aren't on my Instagram. Also, I'm gonna be uploading that pack with me video and my haul of what I got while I was there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. A special thank you to my patrons and I hope you're having a lovely day. Bye.